Alvin, the strongest earthquake in a quarter of a century hits Taiwan and tonight the damage caused by the 7.4 quake is extensive. Buildings collapsed, others heavily damaged, landslides inundated homes and tsunami warnings have residents on alert after shocks continue to rock the region. KTLA Samantha Cortese joins us live from the KTLA News Center with the stunning developments. Sam. Sharon Micah, these videos are astounding to look at. New tonight, though, Japan lifted tsunami warnings. But in Taiwan, local news reporters now say four people have died in that earthquake. Newscasters on air as a 7.4 magnitude quake rocked the island of Taiwan. The shaking began at about 8 a.m. when people were up and moving and took plenty of video of the tumbler and the aftermath. The shaker rocked the Taipei Metro. And people on this bridge were swaying as traffic came to a standstill. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the epicenter was located about 11 miles southwest of Walin City. Public camera footage shows the earthquake shake Liu Lake in Hualien County. As seismologist Lucy Jones explains, magnitude doesn't tell you the damage. The shaking depends on magnitude and proximity to the fault, and Hualien is right on it. But even cities far south of the epicenter saw significant movement. Taipei's built on a big bowl of sediment, just like Los Angeles. And you like just like shaking a bowl of jello that can amplify the shaking. So it's the something that we worry about for Los Angeles. There was a 6.5 magnitude aftershock and dozens over a magnitude five. When you have a lot like you do in this situation, that tail can be very long and felt aftershocks will probably continue for years. About 350,000 people live in Walleen. That's, by the way, about the size of Riverside. Again, the death toll is currently at four. Dr. Jones says prior earthquakes strengthened retrofitting and building codes. So many of these urban areas can withstand the shaking. As you saw in the videos there, a lot of swaying, and that's on purpose. In the News Center, Samantha Cortese, KTLA 5 News. Sam, thank you.